welcome back to my channel guys in today's video i am going to be talking to you guys about my days back to school we have been virtual since last march and today is march 15th i went back to school yesterday for the first day which is insane actually no today is the 16th yesterday was the 15th last year around march 15th is when we there is a tractor trailer coming You know you live in the country when. It has been a year that's literally insane. We have been at home for the past year and it's actually super exciting that we're now getting to go back into the building. We're only one day a week, which is kind of stupid, but I just wanted to kind of like talk to you guys about my experience yesterday. And so first of all, it was daylight savings time like two days ago or something. I don't know if you can see, but I clearly have dark circles under my eyes. I had the worst time trying to fall asleep. I had to wake up at 5.30 a.m. Not a fun time, but you know, I got through it and it was better than I thought it was going to be. Um, I'm definitely not getting my eight and a half hours of sleep every night now, but we'll get through it. But I was more nervous because I was like, we're going back into the building, like this thing that used to be so normal for us is not normal anymore. But it's funny because as soon as I was like back in the building, it felt right. Like it felt like I was like, I'm finally like back to my normal schedule. And it felt really good. Like honestly, just to walk in there, even though we were wearing like masks and like obviously everyone was like social distance there was like barely any people in the school but it was like just a breath of fresh air just like seeing my teachers in the hallway and saying like oh my gosh hi and like just being in the building and talking to people just made me so happy we were in school i'm just gonna give you a little rundown of how it went um and for my first block it was definitely a little weird because we had to do like this mini presentation kind of and so like since half of the school is still on like teams meetings or whatever we had to like speak through the computer but then it was like coming out of like the other person in the room's computer so like i was talking and i could hear my voice coming out of my teacher's computer and i was like that's not cool like i could not focus on anything that i was saying and it was honestly so annoying because i was like i'm hearing myself like that's gonna make my grade really bad luckily she gave me 100 percent, but i was like that is like really distracting and very very annoying but it was really good to see my teacher i'm so glad that i had her for my first block because i knew her already and i've had her for the past year and then second period class i was the only person in my class which like actually kind of worked out for me because i was in ap bio and we were just working on a presentation so it wasn't that big of a deal um but like my teacher like talked to me the whole class and i felt like very good about it I was like, oh my gosh, I'm having this whole conversation. Like, I'm actually like meeting people face to face. And it's crazy because my teachers look so different. Like, literally two of my teachers are pregnant and I didn't know that because we were online the whole time. And they're like, oh yeah, we're going out for maternity leave soon. And I'm like, you're pregnant? Like, why didn't you tell me? It's just crazy because... You can definitely tell with teachers, like, they're way happier when they're in the classroom because when they're on Zoom, they're just like, hey, like, whatever. When they were in the classroom, their their mood was just, like, so much better, and I loved that for them. The transition has been a little weird because we're going from, like, having an hour lunch and, like, going to classes at 7.55, and now we're changing to a normal school schedule. So now we start classes at 7, like, 35 around that, and then we have 20 minutes to eat lunch and it's like it's definitely a little weird but I'm kind of like getting the hang of it it's day two today so I'm feeling a little bit more confident about the new schedule but then moving on to lunch lunch was very strange so we were all like sitting and then we have these shields and you can barely see and hear the person that's across from you I guess that's the point so that you don't like talk to people um, but literally you eat your lunch and then you just like play on your phone the whole lunch it's really like kind of annoying it is kind of weird though because so many people are online the teachers are like focusing most of their attention on the computer so it was almost like we weren't even there they were just like talking to the computer which was kind of weird because like we're like okay well like I want some interaction like in person but that just wasn't reality. Also, they definitely did not clean under my desk for one of my like classrooms because I sat and then I like put my hand on my like thigh 
and I was like, ew, there's something sticky. There was a whole cobweb. Like, literally, I sat in a cobweb, and I was like, oh my gosh, I could not get it off of me. It was terrible. And then last period class, what did I even have for last period? I had AP English. Actually, AP English was super fun because there was five people in the room, including myself, and my teacher, like, broadcasted the team's meeting on the boards that we could, like, see everything. We didn't log into the team's meeting, so it was actually, like, she was teaching us and not to the computer. So that was like way better and honestly, I hope all teachers do that because it was just so annoying because some teachers were like directing all of their attention to the computer and I'm like, hello, like I'm right here. I was super exhausted yesterday, but I'm feeling a little bit better today. It definitely is harder to wake up earlier, but I'm hoping that soon I will get into the swing of things. For three weeks, we are only one day a week, but then on April 7th, we're going back four days a week, baby. So I'm gonna try to vlog that as much as possible. Like kind of just like me in the morning, kind of like getting ready for school, kind of like how I'm feeling. Um, and yeah, I just wanna like kind of update you guys. This is literally history. We're going back to school and I am super excited. I was a little nervous at first. I was like, I don't really wanna go back, but now I'm so excited and I'm so glad that I went back one day a week because it's really getting me excited for when we're back four days a week because we're just gonna have so much more like interactions and I'm so excited to see my friends. I'll see you guys next week. Good morning. I have done everything this morning. I've eaten breakfast. I have done my early morning Bible study, some quiet time before going to school because it's definitely really important to start your day off really, really well and fresh and full of God. And then I'm about to leave for school in a couple minutes. It's currently 6.40. I like to get to school at seven because I just like to be at school just in case I need to do something. Technically homeroom doesn't start until 7.20 and then classes don't start until 7.39. So I do have a little bit of time, but it's nice to do that so that I can like wake up a little bit. See you guys at school. I'm all by myself. No one's here. Last call for first dismissal students. Please report to the bus ramp at this time. Once again, all first dismissal students. Fresh air. <laughs> Peace out. See you next week. School day is over, and now we are going to go home and I'm also gonna eat a snack because I'm hungry <laughs> so what you guys just saw I showed you we were in band and I showed you guys what we're working with for band so we literally have to put our instrument in a bag and like play it that way and then we also have a mask that has a hole in it so that we can like put our like instrument in there so really really fun I'm telling you my car has no good places to put my phone. My favorite part of the day is the drive home because it's hot and I get to just roll my windows down, listen to some podcasts. So my math class this morning was the first class that I had and the teacher, my teacher um, just went on maternity leave and the substitute, like the long-term substitute, like wasn't even there in the classroom. So I was literally by myself in the classroom. But it's so weird because Seeing your teachers virtually and then seeing them in person is completely different. Like, I, like, a couple of my teachers, I was like, holy crap, they look completely different in person. Like, when my one teacher told me she was pregnant, I didn't even know because I couldn't even see her belly. Like, and then, like, some of my other teachers, like, in my head, I pictured them to be shorter, but they're, like, taller. And, like, some of my teachers are more intimidating in person which kind of scares me. I'm just chilling in the parking lot because right now the buses are rotating, which pretty much means, there, I'll show you guys. I don't even know if you can see it, but like the buses are like going out or whatever. So we ride buses with the middle school. I think that's how all high schools and middle schools work. And then they just rotate the buses through. I am going to vlog again when we go back four days a week because I think that's gonna be a huge transition, but I'm super excited to go back four days a week because then 
we're gonna be able to have a lot more interactions. So yeah, I'm really excited about that. Hey guys. <laughs> Hey guys, so I wasn't gonna vlog today, but some interesting things happened today, so I wanted to uh, inform you. First of all, I was supposed to wake up at 5.30 this morning. I did not wake up until 6.45. I actually didn't wake up. My mom came into my room and turned on all my lights. She said she had a weird feeling that I was still home, and I was like, okay, that's weird. She came into my room, and she was like, Jessica, like, don't you have to leave? And it was 6.45. I leave at 6.45 to go to school. Um, and because I like to get there by 7, technically we don't have to be in homeroom until like 7.20. Uh, I woke up, did my morning routine in like 5 minutes, ate a banana on my way out of the house, and then I was on my way and I got to school by like 7.10, which is like insane. And then I wanted to say that I got a parking pass, which I was kind of worried because like I'm a junior and juniors don't get first dibs on like uh, parking passes, but I did get a parking pass and I'm super excited about it because I really did not feel like riding the bus to school every single day. And also if I'm working right after school, like then I'm gonna have to drive right, right to work. And so yeah, that would not have worked out very well. Plus my bus ride is like an hour long, which wastes a lot of time. Today was actually pretty fun though. We finished early in my AP bio class. So I literally took a walk with my AP bio teacher and we went to like the main office and we're we were like talking to the people in the main office which is kind of like interesting but kind of like fun. Another thing about being in school is I like walk that building like crazy and I burn way more calories than just like sitting in my house obviously. Like walking around the school all day I burn like 100 calories. It's way more than when you're just sitting at home and like not doing anything. So and I also like walking around the school because like I get to be like moving and stuff, which is nice. And then I got a hundred on my um, anatomy quiz. I was honestly really, really shocked because he said that the average for this test was gonna be like a 73. Usually I study my butt off, but I had a really busy weekend. So I was studying like sporadically throughout this weekend. And so I got a hundred on the quiz and I was like, what the heck? Cause I was worried for some reason that being in the school building, I was gonna get like worse grades but it ended up not being the case and i actually got lucky because my parking permit is in like the main parking lot the buses switch around like 210 and if you're in the back parking lot you have to wait until like 220 for all the buses to leave so being in the main parking lot is definitely an advantage because i get to just like leave whenever like before the buses and I don't have to wait. So I get home like 15 minutes earlier, which is like so nice. That's all I really wanted to say. Um, this week we only have three and a half days because spring break is starting on Thursday and I'm super excited and yeah. Hey guys, so today was the day that we start back four days a week and I am super excited. Um, it was really refreshing to see like everyone there and I saw a bunch of my friends and I was like, oh my gosh, this is awesome. And I had some really great conversations with people that I haven't seen in like a while. And like a couple times I was thinking to myself like, these conversations would have never happened like outside of school. And just like the connection between people that I've like never had before was like way stronger. And I just like, just like seeing people and being like, hey, like, how are you? And all that stuff. And just like when teachers make comments and we like look at each other and like whatever, it just feels so much better. And I'm so happy that we're back in the building. I honestly feel a little bad for some of the people that are still virtual because we are going to be doing so many things in the classroom that people virtually won't be able to do. Um, so like we're dissecting a mink, we're doing labs with pill bugs, we're going out to the barn because my school has like an animal program. So we have a bunch of animals, so we're gonna get out, go like out and like take care of the animals and stuff and see them. So that's like awesome. And I'm just thinking like it really does stink for the people that are still at home because they're going to miss out on a lot of stuff that is going on in the classroom. But yeah, I just kind of wanted to um, allow you guys to come along with me on the ride back to school because it definitely has been a little weird, but at the same time, it feels so normal and so good to be back into the building. And I'm honestly just like overwhelmed with happiness, even though I have to wake up at like 5.30 a.m. in the morning, it's totally worth it.
I'll see if I'm saying the same thing in a couple months because usually like by March I'm normally like checked out I'm exhausted like I'm lacking so much sleep but because we were virtual like three-fourths of the year I'm like so energetic and I have so much energy because I was getting like eight and a half hours of sleep every night so that's definitely a positive of virtual learning. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you really enjoyed this video and I'm hoping that one day I can look back on this and kind of remember like what was happening in the world at this time. So thanks so much for watching. I hope you guys have a blessed day and I hope to see you in my next video.